What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure to click over here and hit subscribe. That would really help me out. But what we are doing in today's video, we finally got some really good weather. It's not super hot. It's not super humid. Okay, I kind of lied. It is, it's still pretty humid. But um, we're out here at 100 yards. We got the RX-1. And we're going to be doing a little bit of shooting. I think I got, got five arrows with me. And uh, I've been... I'll, I'll show you guys. I've been rolling with my arrows in my sock as like a sock quiver, I guess is what you could call it. So like when I'm shooting, I don't have to have the side quiver loaded up, which I probably should start to do soon so I can get used to the weight. But it has been a while since I've made a shooting video and I thought, why not? The weather is good and I got the time to do it. And um, as you guys might have seen just now, um, I did swap sights. This is the Spot Hog Hogfather. And I was shooting with the Fast Eddie XL. I still have the Fast Eddie, but I've been I've been trying this out. I've been wanting to get my hands on one for a while, and so far I'm impressed. And in all honesty, it might stay on the rig for hunting season. But I'll make a video um, comparing both of those sites. But truthfully, I think the Hogfather is winning right now. But um, we'll go ahead and step back here so you guys can get a full frame shot, and um, we'll go ahead and fling some down here at 100. It's just a little bit breezy, but not bad. And I do have it set at like 101, just because it is pretty humid. But here we go. Let's shoot a couple rounds at 100 and see how we're doing. That one sounded pretty good. I say sounded because the target that I'm shooting at, it's just an old beat up bag target and the center of it is like completely shredded. So whenever you hit fresh, fresh paper, fresh burlap, I guess, I don't know, um, it's a lot louder, there's a loud pop. Whereas when you get it in the good stuff in the center, it's just real soft. That one was, the left and right was pretty good, but it was just a touch high it looked like. I don't know about my binoculars out here today. They're actually, I left them in Amanda's car, so. I don't have them right now because she went to visit a friend, but don't have the binoculars right now. That one felt pretty good. So we got this arrow that I'm loading up right now and then one more, no we'll run and check it. We'll go ahead and just shoot like three groups. That one was a touch right, I think. All right, last shot of group one. That one sounded pretty good too. So we'll go ahead and run down there and see where we hit. I'll take you guys with me. Okay, so group number one, I'm honestly pretty happy with that. Hopefully the rest of them can look this good too, but I'll take that. Obviously aiming right here for the center. And all of the shots were just a touch left. I might bump that side over, but we'll see. Let's get back down there and fling a couple more. Okay, so I just gave the side a couple clicks to the right because that whole group was shooting to the right. So hopefully we got that ironed out because our elevation was pretty good. We had one arrow that was low, but other than that, it was just a left right that was giving us trouble. Let's see if we can't have that ironed out. Pull the crap out of that shot. Oh my gosh. That is the worst, especially like shooting long distance. Like if you make a bad shot, you can feel it immediately. And it's just like, there's nothing you can do except just watch the arrow go to the target and hit not where you're aiming. Gosh, that's so frustrating. That one felt low. But let's go check it out. Let's go see where we're at. So. Yet again, this one wasn't perfect. Everything was to the right. Well, be left right now, but as we're facing it, it would be right. But again, not horrible. There's those five arrows. Not horrible, but 
I can do a lot better. And I know two of those, those last two, I pulled the absolute crap out of them. So hopefully this last group we can end on a we can end on a good one and we can we can finish strong but let's get back down there and fling five more arrows alrighty y'all this is going to be the last group at 100 for tonight like i said we're still just a touch to the right so that many clicks is how we're going to give it how many we're going to give it and hopefully we can end on a good note we can Finish with good group, but let's get to it. That one felt really good. Sounded really good too. Now let's just see if we can do four more just like it. Okay, that one Back here, it felt horrible, but it looked on the target, it looked like it went good. I felt like I, I touched the trigger off a little bit too quick. I didn't pull through that one very good. That one felt like it was just a touch to the left, which is weird because that'll be the first arrow that we've shot to the left tonight. Everything else has been way right. Felt really good. It was a really soft landing. So all of those shots felt pretty good. There was one that I didn't feel super confident about. Felt like it was a little bit left. But we'll run down there and go check it out. But I really do think that this group felt really good and I think it'd be a good one to end on. But I'll see you guys down there. Alrighty guys. So if it'll focus. As you guys can see there, we had four of them there in the center. And then that one little dude was to the left. So truthfully, I can't complain about that. I'll definitely end on that one. I'm happy with it. I wish I shot like that every group tonight, but sometimes, you know, sometimes shooting can be harder than others. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. That would really help me out. And go ahead and consider subscribing if you're not already, so you can stay up to date with the videos that I am making. Like I said, I am going to be making a video soon comparing the Hogfather compared to the Fast Eddie XL and kind of the pros and cons of each of those sites. But make sure to leave in the comments if you guys like seeing these kind of videos of the long range shooting or if you would prefer the more technical type of videos where I go over form and uh, tactics that I use to help myself get ready for the fall and become a better archer. But like I said, that's going to do it for today's video. And stay tuned because I've got some stuff brewing with the land management series that I think you guys are going to like. But I'll see you guys in the next one.